really paid myself this morning. Good morning, guys. It's Saturday and it's the second day of my period, which is the worst. Pains are paining, the cramps are cramping, the flow is very heavy and it just makes everything so hard to do. And if you've already watched my previous period routine I did, then you know, I know what day my period falls on every day of the month and I schedule two days off where I get to work from home. I don't say yes to plans with anybody, but my period just thought that she would come earlier this month. And so it started last night and I already had plans for today and I can't cancel. Today is just about trying to get through it trying to see how hard we can push ourselves and just dealing but i really played myself because i did wake up on time but because i was on my period and i was so mad about the fact that i don't get to chill at home today i did a bit of revenge procrastination in the morning and i got out of bed at the very last second and now I like I want to look cute for the day. It's the only way that today is going to be a happy day. But I have literally like five minutes to finish this face of glam. Oh. Despite this little bit of morning stress, however, I do feel excited, even though I know it's going to be a painful day. Just because when stuff like this happens and I'm forced to push myself harder, I am always left very satisfied at the end of the day. It's currently 9.30 in the morning. I actually woke up at... 8 30 like i was supposed to but then laid in bed for literally 45 minutes which i would never normally do but when i'm on my period i'm a completely different person i have to leave the apartment at 10 a.m because i'm meeting a friend and this isn't just any friend this is a uni friend who i haven't seen in about a year now and a quick backstory on this friend is we actually met on the very first day of uni like he was basically one of my first friends and we had an entire friendship group of like 10 people and as the three years of uni went on obviously some people kind of dropped off the group because you know you either find other friends or people fall out it happens and right up until the day of graduation me and him were still like this and we met on the first day of uni and our like uni apartments were next door to each other so we were really really close and we just got through so much together and although we live in cities quite far apart from each other we've just always stayed like this like we can go months and months without talking but i know when i see him today again it's gonna be like we're back in uni and nothing has changed and then after we have our quick breakfast my original plan was gonna be you know have something fun to do on this saturday you know go grab a matcha have a little shopping spree which i do still really really want to do but if the cramps get too much i'm just gonna skip it and then i'm gonna get straight into work i have so much work to do today for the last two months, there have been no days off. I don't even do my Sunday resets recently because I'm too busy with writing the book, doing a bunch of work around the book while also managing all of my other typical work tasks. So today I'm gonna try and find a cafe and do as much work as I can there. And just try to avoid coming home, even though it's the comfortable option. All week this week, I have been out and about working in cafes and I've spent four, five, six hours straight in those cafes getting book writing done and it's been the most productive thing in the world like not an ounce of procrastination takes place okay i did my makeup on time it's now 9 50 so i have 10 ish minutes to quickly do my hair put my outfit on the idea just popped into my head the other day of like how cool would it be for the vlogging channel to have like a different type of lens just so you're not so zoomed in on my face all the time and i feel like it's good for the vlogging channel just so you can see what's going on around me um a little bit better as soon as i had the idea i literally ordered the lens on amazon so fast so i hope you guys like it oh fits like a glove perfect I'll be ready in like 10. What the hell? I have been rushing all morning. Oh, okay, so you're not far then, that's fine. 20 minutes, yeah. Oh, calm. Okay, perfect. <laughs> okay, see you soon. All that rushing, just to tell me as soon as I'm ready. The good news is, I look cute, and these belts are hiding my period bloat, so. Thank God I can actually take my time right now. Okay, I'm ready. I'm about to leave for my bag. I'm going to be wearing this Pauline tote just because it fits all my work stuff in there. And then for shoes, I'm wearing these little um, cream mango kitten heels because they're comfy, they go with the dress. 
there's nothing like a good outfit to fix a bad mood but what is also making this day so much better is the fact that it's the first day of sun and blue sky all week I am so excited to step outside in this. Seeing that little bit of sun outside, it makes me feel like a whole like brand new person. That is what is gonna make today a great day. Let's get it. Pop in my charger and the essentials. Pads and painkillers for the bag. I'm literally two minutes away. My friend texted me he's parking, so this is great timing. This day is gorgeous and I am feeling myself. Yeah, yeah. But I was like, there's no way. No, I do for like the next few months and then I'm off to London. Yeah. Did you, did you originally live in London? No, I'm from Derby. So it's kind of like an hour away. Oh, oh and then I moved here because I had a bunch of my friends here and it's my first time living out. Oh my God. Yeah. So I'm around all the time, basically. <laughs> I remember I saw you at Julia Cortez as well. Oh, did you? Wait, yeah, like this week? My, my friend saw you. Oh, like, cool. But I was gonna ask you for like some advice. Okay, like, yeah, sure. Cool? I cannot believe I just ran into a subscriber the second I stepped out. That is insane and so crazy because I was gonna mention anyway, I have been recognized every single day this week and that has never happened. I don't know what's in the air. I don't know if it's a coincidence i don't know if my audience is magically getting bigger but that was crazy but my friend called me so i feel like he's gonna be here yes! <laughs> hmm. it's birmingham for you <laughs> Hi, how are you? Wrong, I'm a bit stuck. Huh? How are you? I'm very, very good, how are you? I can't believe I pocket dialed you. Yeah, <laughs> when I saw your name on my phone, I was like, oh shit. I was very confused, I was like, you're giving me this advice. <laughs> <laughs> but you got a halloumi Sorry. thing as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Food yeah. so just came. Vibes. You're right. Sensational food, sensational. I had a feeling that this is your kind of place. Thank you. And I got my carrot juice. Oh, you just had to reciprocate. I was I've only been when I was younger and I'm contemplating meeting that, which I know is basic. Where, when would you want to go to Dubai? You've talked about move, London, you've talked about... I would move there maybe like a year, if I've done a year in London or two years in London. A dream travel destination, what is it? LA and New York. LA, New York? I think LA probably ah, you're gonna, You want to live in one of them? I think I'm an LA girl. <laughs> So goodbye to my friend, we had a really really nice lunch and now I'm at my Uber because my friend Marnie texted me while I was at lunch. So I'm really excited because obviously I was going to do work anyway so it would be so nice to see her again and it's definitely making my Saturday better. The gadget was so nice, it was just so nice reminiscing but also learning so much about what my friend has been up to. We also got really deep, we were talking st about stuff like marriage, about work, where we want to live, where we want to travel. So even though we see each other like once a year, we cover everything, like truly. I arrived at one of my favorite cafes to do some work with my friend Marnie. Here we were just catching up, gassing each other up. She was showing me her new fur coat. Look how amazing. Both of us dressed up in our heels. She was loving the new lens. And we were just catching up about life before she showed me this brand new matcha that the cafe does. It looks like a blueberry matcha, but it's not. It's actually very low sugar, which is why I was so freaked out. And it's made from some special potato. But I am obsessed with blueberry matches and I can only ever get it in London. So this made my day. I literally told her I'm so glad I actually stepped outside of the house and then we went up to order it We were chatting to our favorite barista Eddie. Here he is saying hi. He's always the best I didn't mute all of this intentionally Unfortunately, the audio got cut out of these clips, which is why I'm having to do a voiceover So I'm sorry guys, but stay tuned because we do have some funny ass conversations that you guys need to witness And then we sat and we did our regular catch-up We were here just being so grateful for the sun outside tasted my matcha. It was insane Hey. 
clean like tasted exactly like a blueberry matcha but it was a healthier version and then we always go outside and get cute little outfit pics so that we can stay consistent on social media so we took each other's pictures they came out absolutely amazing i actually posted this on the spot because the lighting was so good this day. We were so happy with our content. And then we came back inside and I got some more painkillers because I was really, really suffering at this point. Posted my picture and then put my headphones on. We both did a three hour work block during this point. Like we don't even talk to each other. We are so productive and it's quite nice because we're accountability partners for each other. <laughs> I'm like Scooby Doo and Shaggy. <laughs> You're Shaggy. Yeah, I'm Shaggy. I'll get off but I can't. <laughs> See you later, Bye. Yeah. See you later. Bye. Have a good day. See ya. And the work continues. So I've been working for about three hours and we're working on the book and I'm actually making mad progress. I always do when I work in an environment away from home. So I'm just using it as much as I can. I want to. I just want to see how long I can stay here. Loki, I really want to go home and get into bed. I feel really uncomfortable still. And the painkillers aren't working that much, but I'm gonna aim for another hour, go home, have dinner, and just have a really nice relaxing evening, maybe do some reading. work day complete i'm so happy my uber's right there gonna go home it's definitely not actually the end of a work day but now at least i'll be a little bit more comfortable hi fitty thank you oh my apartment how i missed you it's so sunny and warm in here oh my god it's literally freezing outside it was the trenches, but I'm so excited to be back. I'm gonna get changed really quickly into some hella cozy clothes. I'm gonna fill up my hot water bottle and I will meet you when I'm in a better cozier mood. I've been waiting for this moment all day long. Oh, I could fall asleep. No, right this second. I'm going to spend the next hour reading this book that I just started. It is called Women Who Run With The Wolves. And I just saw it in the bookstore the other day because I was just having a browse. And this is like a fat book. I'm only here. That is a large book. And in the back here it says, a deeply spiritual book that honors what is tough, smart, and untamed in women. I actually have not eaten since my brunch with my friend and that was at 11 a.m. and now it's like six-ish or something. I can actually have a bit of a break, watch some TV. So I got a bunch of these boxes from Amazon. I'm sure I got a pack of like 15 or 20 or something. They look like this. And then I've meal prepped meals. So in each of these I have chicken thigh that I've marinated in like Nando's sauce with broccoli and some other little veggies. <laughs> Little side of avo and some salsa, and I'm just gonna stick on a movie. One that I've probably watched a hundred times already because I never have the capacity to start anything new. And I like to rewatch the same things because they just give me comfort on days like this. Hmm. Um, I found the perfect movie. I'm gonna watch Bad Neighbors. Oh my god, this came out in 2014. I actually remember when this came out and my teenage self was so obsessed with how funny this film was. Love a bit of self Seth Rogen. Really love a bit of Zac Efron. Night ever. Look at how much food I just started. Hi guys, it's now 8 p.m. I watched that entire movie relaxed. I was snacking. I'm so full. I actually feel way better now that I've eaten some food. I do still feel very, very fatigued. And I think it's just, you know, because I'm at the start of my cycle, I'm just like have less energy than usual. So I've decided I'm going to sit down now and I'm going to do 30 minutes to an hour of work however much i can handle and the second i feel like i just can't do it anymore i'm gonna go straight to bed i actually just cleaned up the kitchen did all the dishes put some stuff away which is really good it means i'm just setting myself up for a better day tomorrow <laughs> I just made 
mad progress. I had a really good work block. No procrastination, so happy with it. I hope you enjoyed this vlog for what it was. Just know your girl was struggling. It is bedtime. I'm so excited. I'm gonna do my skincare and hopefully I will be dead asleep by 9.30. And then I'm gonna wake up at 6 a.m. and just work all day long from home. Good night.